Hello friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide and we are on February 26, 2023. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet. And welcome to The Daily Do, giving you your space weather update as well earthquakes and world weather. Check out here the last 48 hours on our sun. Two sizable M-class solar flares are coming from that top right region, northeast region of our sun. The second one creating a large tsunami across the sun and as well a very active earth-facing northern region sunspot. Looking at the last 48 hours incoming. No major cresting sunspot regions right now, but there's been quite a bit of activity on the back side of the sun, so expecting a big sunspot region to come around. Having a look at outgoing, this is where a lot of the action has been. Large plasma filament swirling across the southeast region of our sun, and as well that solar tsunami here brought to you by two M-class solar flares from the same sunspot region. And as well, look at that fiery action coming from the Earth-facing northern sunspot region. So M-class right there. And then another M-class right there. And this one here, Earth-facing now, is a little bit spastic. So heads up, everybody. Stay aware and prepared. Having a look at multi-spectrum plasma tornadoes spinning around. The outgoing disk, as well, you can see all those flashes from all of the solar flares the last three days. Sorry, two days. This is 48 hours of imagery. Having a look at 171 angstroms here, this is where we can see the coronal holes. We do have one Earth-facing coronal hole turning away right now. And as well, we had one in the southern hemisphere, but we're already being hit by this coronal hole wind stream solar wind speeds are over 600 kilometers per second right now and density bunches were up to about 30 to 34 yesterday having a look at space weather conditions right now we are under r1 minor radio blackouts and as well solar radiation impacts g1 geomagnetic storm impacts are prevalent right now having a look at the solar x-ray flux you can see there, two M-class solar flares, solar proton flux right up there into the S1, almost S2, and geomagnetic activity, KP5 just recently. Having a look here at the DRAP absorption map, this is where all the cosmic energy, the highest frequency affected areas are being detected. And yeah, we were hit big time over the East Pacific and then yet again there, northern and southern hemisphere. Amazing stuff, getting all this energy from something that is so far away. Having a look at the ISWA space prediction spiral, this is yesterday's CME that was directed right at Earth, set to give us a blow into the 26th, 27th. And we're already being penetrated by it now. And then here is the most latest. As we do have solar storms now coming in for the 28th and into the 2nd of March. Double CME blast here. A couple of them grazing Earth. Having a look at the real-time solar wind. We're sitting at 600, over 600 kilometers per second. Last I saw it was 632. But look at the density bunches there. The orange 32.83 that's a very high solar radiation having a look at lasco 2 showing two days worth of cmes and look at all that static and cosmic bombardment from that halo cme the most recent one right here wow if we ever got a lot of energy on its way to our planet. So heads up, everybody. Stay aware and prepared. That was a large halo CME blast. Having a look here at the last few images. As we do have that solar prominence in the southeast region of the sun getting ready to rip away. 
Having a look at Schumann resonance for today is a power of 8 slash 16. A lot lower than it has been the last couple days. Quality of 6.9. Amplitude of 2. Now let's get to earthquakes past 24 hours. According to USGS, they're only reporting 160 earthquakes. 24-hour period. Largest being here, 5.1. Papua New Guinea. But active region here, Kermadec Islands towards New Zealand, 5.0, 4.6, 4.9. And then our deepest earthquake today, 4.6, 544 kilometer depth. Minor activity there, Solomon Islands, Lata, 4.8, 4.9. As well, Papua New Guinea there. Eastern Indonesia, 5.1. Indonesia up into the Philippines, 4.8. Kamchatka, pretty deep earthquake there, 4.1. Milakova, Russia. And as well, 5.0 uh, there, Adak, Alaska. Eerily quiet across the North American play right now. No major swarms to talk about. 4.4 there, Mexico, towards the Riviera Plate, south. And as well, Panama, Costa Rica reporting a 4.5 there up into the Cocos Plate, 4.2. Bolivia, minor activity through Puerto Rico and Dominican Republic. Earthquakes are slowing down through Turkey and as well Tajikistan. As we saw those sizable 6.2 and 6.8s over the past week. This is the last seven days for earthquakes across the world. Thoughts and prayers going out to everybody affected by the large earthquakes through Turkey and as well Tajikistan. Thoughts and prayers going out worldwide to everyone suffering from environmental disasters or natural disasters. Now let's get to weather, weather here overlooking North America. Starting out, we do have a low just north into Quebec. As well, the Colorado low, which is set to bring some wild weather to Ontario. Alberta clipper here forming right now in the next couple days. And as well, a low off the coast of BC. We'll put this into motion and see where these systems are going to be going. Watch the strong Colorado low develop overnight tonight and into tomorrow. There's already tornado warnings popping up. But watch for a mixed precipitation and as well a very windy day throughout Ontario. Extremely windy coming from the south and as well along the east coast there of the United States. Another Pacific low here coming into California for Wednesday into Thursday. So more snow and moisture on the way there. And then the Alberta Clipper makes its way to Ontario by Thursday into Friday, but not much in the way of precipitation. Long range forecast could see some pretty nasty weather here developing through the Gulf states and northeastern United States. Have a look at the temperature transition here for the next few days. Minus double digits through most of Canada for the next four days. But then that's going to slowly flood back into the United States. Long range forecast, first week of March. High pressure ridge building in across the continent. Overlooking is South America. Large low pressure system there through the Atlantic Basin. Other than that, no major systems affecting South America except for daily evaporation rains. Could be heavy at times through parts of southern Brazil. Overlooking South Africa and Madagascar, we still have remnants of Cyclone Freddy. Low pressure system there, east coast of Africa, heading back over to Madagascar again. It looks like it's going to make landfall March 4th into the 5th. And as well, a strong low pressure system just south there. Overlooking Europe. Got a low pressure system heading through the Mediterranean, west of Italy. It's going to grind its way slowly over the next couple of days across the country. Strong system heading into Spain as well. 
for the first week of March, and as well, some pretty cold and windy systems heading up into the United Kingdom here. Long-range forecast. Could see some snow totals there. Eastern Europe, overlooking Southeast Asia, West Pacific. No major systems here developing in the long-range forecast. No typhoons, no cyclones, no anomalies. Having a look here, Australia and New Zealand. You've got a couple tropical systems there developing. Northern New Zealand through Caledonia. Looks like they're going to miss you guys. Low pressure system in Northern Territory of Australia will not miss though as it has penetrated land and will slowly make its way southward. Leave you here overlooking the Pacific Ocean. Strong high pressure ridge eventually will be battered away here. Some pretty big systems coming into play. Much love, everybody. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please smack that like button and maybe share with your friends and family. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun. And get your daily do. Bye-bye now. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button. Subscribe. Share with your friends and family from across the world.